Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is concept learning in machine learning. Also, I will discuss what is concept space, hypothesis space and distinct hypothesis space in machine learning. First, we will try to understand what is concept learning in machine learning. Concept learning is a task of acquiring potential hypothesis or solution that best fits the given training example. Let us say that we have been given some set of training examples. We need to identify one solution or a hypothesis which best fits the given training examples. Let us say that uh, we have been given some examples and we know some set of uh, solutions also. We will start with one solution and then we will see whether that uh, solution uh, fits to the given training examples or not. If it fits, then we will consider this as a solution. If it doesn't, we will check the second solution, third solution and the same thing will be done again and again until the solution is found over here. To understand this concept, we will take one uh, simple example here. Let us say that we have been given uh, four uh, training instances with the uh, six attributes here and then enjoy sport is the target uh, variable over here. Given this particular training examples, we need to identify one solution uh, which will fit to the training examples over here. Now the question is how the solution will look like. So this is one uh, possible solution here like uh, the first attribute that sky can take uh, the value sunny, the air temperature can take warm and so on. So this is the one possible solution. Now we need to see whether this particular uh, solution fits all the training examples or not. If it fits, then we will consider this as a solution. Otherwise, we will take one more. If this particular solution fits uh, to all the training examples, then we will consider this as the final solution. Otherwise, we go with the next solution and so on. Now you may see uh, or uh, ask one simple question. How can we write this particular uh, solutions over here? To write this particular solutions, we need to know uh, the one thing that is uh, what are the possible values for each and every attribute. For example, sky can take the different values like sunny, cloudy and rainy. If I write sunny as the first place in the solution, the meaning is it will accept only sunny. If I write cloudy here, it will accept only cloudy and so on. Similarly, uh, the remaining attributes also. So along with these particular possible values in the solution, we will take two more values. That is one is the question mark. Another one is the null here. If I write question mark at any attributes place, the meaning is anything is acceptable for that particular attribute. If I write null, the meaning is nothing is acceptable over here. So that is what the meaning of these two uh, we can say that uh, uh, extra possible values for any attribute in this case. So if I see this particular solution here, this particular third attribute is written as question mark. The meaning is for the third attribute, uh, anything is acceptable. That is the meaning of question mark over here. If I write null here, nothing is acceptable. That is as simple as that. So that is how actually we used to write the solutions here. Now, if I go on writing the solutions manually for this particular uh, example, it will take a lot of time. So I will take one simple example to convince you how to write the instances as well as how to write the possible solutions. Let us say that we have two features F1 and F2. F1 can take two values and F2 can take two values AB and XY respectively. Now how, how many possible uh, instances are there? So that is what is called as the instance space. So instance space in this case is AX, AY, BX, BY. This are, these are the possible uh, instances over here. So instance space contains four possibilities. Out of four possibilities, some examples will be given to us. Okay, now uh, how to write the hypothesis space? So if you want to write hypothesis space, as I said earlier, we need to consider uh, two more things. One is a question mark for this one, as well as null. The same thing goes over here also, question mark and null over here. Now uh, you have to write all possible combinations. Four into four, you will get 16 combinations over here. I have written all 16 combinations here. So hypothesis space for this uh, set of features is 16 in this case. But if you look at this particular hypothesis space, it contains null at many places. If you look at this particular instance space, it does not have any null. So that is not possible actually. So what we can do over here is rather than writing null in multiple number of hypothesis space, we will consider only one representation remaining all we remove here. So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 are there. We will remove 7 from 16. So if I remove 7 from 16, we will left with, uh, you can say that uh, 9 plus 1 representation we will add. We will get 10 distinct, uh, semantically distinct hypothesis over here. So that is what you can see here. Uh, I have written all possible combinations that is 9 and 1 representation of null here. So totally how many are there? 10 in this case. So how can I get that particular thing is these are three possibilities, three possibilities, nine and one representation of this one is 10 over here. 
So this is how actually you can calculate instance space, hypothesis space as well as syntactically distinct hypothesis space over here. Now coming back to the next one, uh, for our example, uh, sky has three possibilities that is what I have written here. Air temperature has two possibilities that is what I have written and remaining all is written here. If I multiply all these things, we will get the number of possible instances for our uh, example over here. So there are total 96 are possible. Out of that, we have been given only four in this particular case. So these are some of the, this is the instance space over here. Now coming back to the hypothesis space, hypothesis space contains along with these particular three possibilities, two more over here, two more over here and everywhere two more. So 5 into 4 into 4 into so on, you will get 5120 uh, solutions or you can say that the uh, hypothesis in hypothesis space over here. Now all uh, these particular hypotheses are not correct because uh, many of them contains null over here. So we need to remove those particular nulls and then we need to consider only uh, one representation over here. So uh, apart from writing five here, we can write only three possi actual possibilities. One that's a question mark here, two actual possibilities, one for question mark similarly everywhere. So it will become four multiplied by three, multiplied by three, multiplied by three, three, three it will become 972 in this case and plus one representation for uh, that uh, uh, null here. So totally you will get 973 syntactically distinct hypothesis in hypothesis space over here. Of these uh, 973 syntactically distinct hypothesis, we need to identify one solution which will fit to our four training examples in this case. So that is what is called as concept learning in machine learning over here. So in this video, I have discussed what is concept learning, how can we find the instance space, how to find the hypothesis space as well as how to get this particular syntactically distinct hypothesis over here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.